This week on Maker Update, a meme alarm clock, solar balloons, an imperial rocker, bending PVC with sand, Axidraw XL, and hacking wheelchair motors. It's Wednesday, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope everyone had a fun Halloween. I've got a good show for you today, so let's get right into it, starting with the project of the week. One of my favorite makers, Fuzzy Wobble, has a new video alarm clock that wakes you up with your favorite or most obnoxious video meme. For his version, he appropriately went with this one where a preacher shouts, wake up, over and over and over. The project uses a Teensy 3.6 board to make the magic happen. The Teensy is a powerful Arduino compatible board that's well known for its audio features, but using it to play videos is pretty novel. To make this happen, you actually have to convert the video to a binary file. Fuzzy shows you how to do this using a processing application called mp 4 to bin which is handy to know about. The cool black enclosure for the clock is made from laser cut acrylic, but Fuzzy includes illustrator templates that you could easily print out as a template to cut this from wood. On the back, you get a switch for setting the time or the alarm. There are two rotary encoders for setting the time and a toggle switch for turning the alarm on and off. On the front, you have a 2.3 inch color display from Adafruit to show you the time and play the video. You also have a speaker grill under the screen with a sealed Adafruit speaker behind it. It looks like a fun, just challenging enough project and it's great to see the Teensy get some attention. For an equally fun but far less complicated project, Becky Stern has a new instructable for making solar balloons with black garbage bags. By cutting and taping a series of bags into a tube and filling it with air, you can whip up your own little blimp. Maybe I'm weird, but I've never seen this before. It's a pretty rad trick. The black color of the trash bags helps to absorb heat, making the air inside lighter than the surrounding air. The project is part of a larger free online class that Becky is doing on solar. Over on YouTube, Never Not Making has a project video on creating a rocking horse shaped like a Star Wars ad at. The project is made from several layers of CNC carved plywood, though none of the sections are terribly big, so it could probably be done on a modest size CNC router. There's a separate Imgur gallery showing off the build steps. It's a lot of sanding and beveling and gluing, but the payoff is adorable. Speaking of glue, it's time for another cool tools review. This time, let's take a look at the Surebonder Pro 2 100 watt glue gun. I got this for around $30 on Amazon. If you want to get this exact same one, you can use the link in the description, which helps support my videos and the cool tools blog. For years, when something called for hot glue, I'd reach for this 14 watt mini glue gun. It's horrible. <laughs> it takes forever to heat up, the built-in stand is practically useless, and you have to unplug it to turn it off. After researching my options, I settled on the Surebonder Pro 2 as the best value and a step-up workshop glue gun. There are more expensive options, and I also purchased a $70 option that I'll compare this to later on in a Cool Tools video, but for around $30, this delivers a significant improvement over the craft store variety of glue guns. There's a built-in stand that actually works. You get a nice long two-prong cord to work with. There's a power switch at the base of the handle so you can turn it off as soon as you're done instead of fiddling around to unplug it. It heats up faster. It takes a bigger half-inch diameter glue stick and it has nozzles that you can buy and swap out for more control. Another advantage to using a hotter gun like this is that most general purpose hot glues will take longer to cool down and set up, so you'll get a little bit more working time with it. You can also fall down the rabbit hole of different glue types, low heat, high heat, wood glue, colored glue. Now that I don't hate this thing, it's been fun to actually see what options are out there. My only complaint with this is that it would be nice if the heat were adjustable, and I wish the power switch lit up just for a little visual feedback. Otherwise, I'm thrilled with it and I wish I'd upgraded sooner. You can pick up this same glue gun using the link in the description. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. Some more tips to share with you this week. Lynn from Darbin Orvar has this cool trick for bending PVC pipe by filling it with hot sand, covering the ends, and then molding the pipe freehand or around a jig before it cools down. Compared to using a torch, it's apparently less prone to kinking because the sand inside maintains an outward pressure. The results look cool, especially on small thin pipe. The latest issue of Magpie is out, issue 63. 
The special section is on arcade projects. There's also some cool music projects inside. I noticed there's a new Soul Robotics Marble Machine kit available called the Gravitrack. It's more like a marble roller coaster. There's a solar version and a battery version. Both come as laser cut wood kits that you can screw together. Evil Mad Scientist has a new XL version of their Axidraw V3 pen plotter. It costs $600 and has twice the travel distance on the X direction, allowing you to make longer or wider drawings. And Randy Serafin from Instructables has a quick guide on hacking wheelchair motors to remove the electromagnetic motor brakes, making them less complicated to work with and more suitable for electric go-kart or scooter projects where a manual brake is usually a better option. Maker fairs, a lot of fun fairs this weekend, including Belo Horizonte, Brazil, Taipei, Taiwan, Cleveland, Ohio, Kharkiv, Ukraine, Parkland County in Alberta, Canada, Madrid in Spain, and Adelaide in South Australia. If you have one near you, go out there and see what's happening. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, upgrade your hot glue gun, maybe, and subscribe to the Maker Update email list, which goes out every Wednesday, includes all the links for the show, plus bonus links for projects I couldn't fit in here. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.